Hey guys, welcome back. I am Mario Vegas and you are watching Tank Zone. Today let's take a look at the BMD-2M TS-7 Russian Airborne Infantry Fighting Vehicle. As usually, let's start with history. And let's make it clear straight away. BMD-2M is not a new vehicle. It is modernized BMD-2, which was originated in Soviet Union. And one of the main reasons uh, for that was, again, financial issues. So, uh, that Russian airborne forces have no choice but to upgrade part of their uh, already obsolete Soviet BMD-2 IFVs. In December 2018, the Russian Defense Ministry announced that the airborne force was uh, planning to launch an upgrade uh, of about uh, 600 BMD-2 second generation airborne assault combat vehicles uh, uh, by equipping them with new weapons and uh, digital uh, reconnaissance and control systems. Program is ongoing with uh, 540 vehicles scheduled for upgrade, uh, including BMD-2K, which means commander vehicles. So. And on 31st July 2019, TASS, a Russian news agency, reported that uh, BMD-2M, a deployable infantry uh, fighting vehicle uh, fitted with new combat module, has entered state trials with uh, Russian Abon troops. And uh, that uh, first upgraded vehicles uh, are expected uh, to enter service in 2021. It's estimated that the upgrade will uh, boost the BMD-2 combat efficiency fivefold. Uh, those upgrades include a fitting uh, of smoke grenade launchers on the side of a turret, a new Berek combat module featuring a one-seat turret and uh, excludes a, a commander seat, a modern uh, fire control system with uh, thermal imaging, gun side combined with stabilized field of view, automatic target tracker, two stabilizer calculators, plus on the top of all that BMD-2M has a new Cornet M anti-tank guided missile launcher. Cornet is one of the most uh, capable Russian uh, anti-tank guided missiles, which has uh, further developed uh, into 9M133 Cornet EM, which has uh, increased range, fire and forget capability, and improved warhead. Precise number of uh, already upgraded vehicles is unknown, but estimates vary from 30 up to 300. Uh, BMD-2M has only one operator, and it is Russian Federation. And now. Let's dive into the game. Let's start with stats. I put stock stats next to mine that you can compare them and be informed about those as well. Let's go through my stats. Sustained damage. 30 damage. Uh, not to be confused, this is auto cannon armored piercing discharging sabre damage. For tandem heat anti-tank guided missiles, it is way higher. 850. 185 mm penetration, which again is auto cannon, armored piercing, discharging, sabo penetration. For tandem heat missile, it is 1000 mm. That's one meter of uh, homogeneous steel arm. 13,216 damage per minute. Quite a punch. 0.22 seconds auto cannon reload time with uh, 440 rounds per minute burst fire rate. Uh, missile reload uh, takes much longer, uh, 22 seconds. Uh, BMD-2M missile system is capable of firing a salvo of two anti-tank guided missiles with a short four second period. So defense, vehicle has uh, 1875 hit points, 10 mm hull versus AP and 20 mm hull versus heat. 
Hull Composition Military Aluminium. Literally, BMD2M has zero effective arm. So, playing with this vehicle, try to engage and disengage quickly. Release your rockets and disappear in safety. Worth to remember that missile reload time takes a while. Mobility. Uh, BMD2M has much better engine than BMD2. Its uh, maximum speed is uh, 62 km per hour with excellent acceleration, 2.76 seconds. A vehicle's weight is only 8.43 tons. <laughs> it's light like a feather. Uh, hull traverse 52.76 degrees per second. All this makes a BMD-2M highly maneuverable flanker and support vehicle. It has small silhouette uh, which benefits its concealment. So its uh, overall camo is uh, 37% and 45% uh, while standing. Uh, vision range uh, of 443.8 meters while moving and 498.9 meters while stopped. Uh, well, if you wish, you can easily scout battlefield areas of interest. Excellent gun depression, minus 10 degrees and uh, high elevation, 75 degrees. Uh, fully aimed accuracy, 0.112. Two. Aim time 1.72 seconds and turret traverse 59.13 degrees per second. So this machine can swing its fire sector quickly. Let's take a look on retrofits. Suggested retrofits for this machine are advanced fire control, improved gun breach, electro optical absorbing paint, and augment optics. I choose augment optics, electroabsorbing paint and improved telescopic lenses. I haven't chose uh, improved gun bridge because as missile reload time is 22 seconds it wouldn't give me uh, much if I would uh, cut this uh, number say to 20 seconds or so and I am satisfied with missile accuracy. So I don't need uh, uh, the advanced uh, fire control system as well. I have already mentioned that um, in previous uh, review, but uh, for those uh, who haven't seen that video, I can share that um, I like to play my AVVs as active support vehicle, performing scouting, laying out uh, anti-tank squad ambushes and harassing enemies with full complement fire. So, but if you like to adjust your vehicle, say uh, only as a flanker, then uh, I would suggest uh, install improved gun breach, electro-optical absorbing paint and augment optics. Uh, for tank destroyer duties, I would pick um, advanced fire control, improved gun breach, and uh, improved telescopic lenses. So as you can see, there are um, enough ways uh, to adjust and play with this AVV. Uh, let's take a look at suggested command and crew skills. As uh, BMD2M command is suggested Sabrina Washington uh, for camo rating, view range and accuracy improvement. Uh, suggested driver skills are smooth ride and off-road driving, for gunner, quick draw and sharpshooter skills. Now let's check out BMD2M armament. It has a 30mm 2A42 autocannon uh, with stock aiming time um, 2.20 seconds, reload time uh, 0.24 seconds and nice depression and elevation. And vehicle has a 9K135 Cornet anti-tank guided missile launcher as well. Reload time 22 seconds, reload within launcher 4 seconds. 
Uh, that means that um, second missile will be ready for launch four seconds after first one is fired. So next stop, ammunition. Uh, this baby auto cannon is loaded with 30 mm armored piercing discharging sable, which has uh, 139 to 185 mm penetration, depending on distance, making it a good fight against a wide range of targets. Uh, BMD 2M has a 30 mm high explosive auto cannon ammunition as well. It has low penetration rates, uh, 10 mm, but can cause higher damages than AP Sabo if it penetrates. As well as small amount of damage it, if it doesn't penetrate target. Uh, and this um, ammunition is recommended for use against uh, lightly armored vehicles. And finally, uh, this AVV has uh, its fearsome 9M 133 anti-tank guided missile with tandem heat warhead, uh, which can penetrate the 1000 mm basic homogeneous armor and inflict up to 850 damage. Uh, these are very powerful and dangerous missiles uh, that can uh, defeat even explosive reactive armor. Additionally, BMD-2M can carry four anti-tank troopers deploy sniper or motor squad and have adjustable suspension uh, that allows you to adjust uh, ground clearance and increase stealth and accuracy. So, and now let's take a look at BMD-2M Abon Infantry Assault Vehicle in action. As you can see, BMD-2M can be very versatile and powerful support vehicle. Its main advantages are high mobility, good stealth and missile power. But its arm is very thin and missile reload time is long. So uh, that after firing missiles it is strongly recommended to switch on auto cannon and avoid engagement with heavy armor while missiles reload. Uh, to compensate these cons, I suggest boost its power with anti-tank troopers squad. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If so, run over the thumbs up button, hit the bell and subscribe. Please leave your comments and suggestions below. That's all for now. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day and see you next time.